So I was talking to one of my um, uh, longtime subscribers on YouTube and uh, <clears throat> hit, him up on, or hit me up on Facebook. And man, this guy said he'd been watching me since he was 15, right? And then he says, like, he's like 29 now. And I was like, okay, so it hasn't been that long, but he was pretty close, right? Like 12 years or so. Anyway, it tripped me out because he was, like, concerned about dying. And he made a funny comment. He said something to the effect of, uh, he's like, yeah, you know, I remember I was watching your stuff in high school. I was, like, 15. And, you know, now it's, like, time goes by so fast. And now it's, like, I watch your new videos, man. You look like you're fucking old. And I was like, thanks. But, no, uh, he's got a good point, though. Like, you know, you know, I look at these people, like, um, <clears throat> people that I started off making YouTube videos with, you know. Um, that little crowd, like Jason King. Um, Dark Fool. Sun Eject. Venus Satanis, Avenger Satanis, Sean Hartnell, um, is that guy's name Sticks Hammer, that guy, and you know, like we all started off like right around the same time, which is just like right around like you know when YouTube started to pop off in like 2008, right around there, and I uh, look at everybody, and see to me they don't really look that much older, but I still watch these people like all the time, so it's like kind of grew old together, but uh, yeah, you know this guy brought up a good point, you know he's kind of kind of a concerned about like getting older and he's getting depressed about turning 30 which yeah you know i guess like i don't know some people might i don't know it's never really bothered me that much like you know but uh everybody's different but i don't know if you guys have seen jason king holy shit i saw him um for the first time in several years because he took a break from making youtube videos or at least he took a break from showing his face remember the black light the hat the dark room yeah i didn't see that for a few years so and I saw him on a uh, podcast of some sort with some like atheist guys when he was a little uh, sloshed. And my friend, um, oh, what's his name? Um, Anti Karmatic uh, from Six Hundred Club, uh, aka AK. <laughs> he also goes by. Um, and yeah, anyway, he's like, "Hey, have you seen your boy J.K.? He's on YouTube." I guess somebody dropped it on, on Six Hundred Club or something. I looked and I was like, "If I wouldn't have heard his voice, because that's you know, I knew it, I knew it was right him right away when I heard his voice." I would have seen that though. I saw Jason King. He had like this beard, like Naga Siva beard, like down to his fucking belly button, probably. Man, Jason, he looks like a wizard, man. He got like, he looks like an evil fucking elf or some weird thing that crawled out of Mordor or whatever that thing is in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he looks fucking like a wizard elf thing. Fucking sinister looking. Kind of like a ZZ Top and um, uh, Michael Aquino had a kid or something. Some kind of monstrosity, but uh, he's looking pretty sinister. And I was just like, damn, that's really Jason King? Shit, I better get my ass up there and visit him one day before we all die. I'm getting hit with a gray stick, but I'm about to shave, you see. I had to wear this for the Viking festival that I went to, which was cool. But I had to get, like, you know, my Thor thing on. I'm ready to get rid of it, though. Everybody says it makes me look older. Which it does, but I don't give a fuck, because you know what? There are way too many women who've got daddy issues because the older I get, the more they come. I'm not even joking. Like, I really was, like, worried about that for a little bit. Not at all. Not at all. And I'm just, like, thinking to myself, who the fuck fucked you up when you were young? Okay. <laughs> but we'll keep these secrets to ourselves, right? Because you all know we're all real nice men. Yeah, so just a shout-out for everybody who's watching me. And that, that dude, uh, before I get... It's like 4 a.m. and I'm pretty drunk. About to go to bed. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, man, for all those years, man. Uh, it is weird growing old together. <clears throat> you know, you're not old, 30. But I remember when I was 30, that's when I started making YouTube videos. Like 30, 31. And that just seems like it was a few years ago. So, get used to it. It only gets worse as you get older. I think your memory gets shorter. Either that or, who the fuck knows, I don't know. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to death, I don't know about you guys, I'm not really afraid of dying. Like, I don't want to die. The only thing I'm really afraid of is the pain. Like, I don't want to die like a miserable, you know, I don't want to suffer and have it drag out for years, you know. I'm hoping if I get lucky, since we all know we're going to die, it's about the only thing we know for certain in this world. You know, I hope it fucking hits me hard, like, like you know, massive stroke, fall down dead, a heart attack. No one wants to. I mean, there's really no good way to die. Maybe in your sleep. Nobody fucking dies in their sleep. I'm pretty sure if you're dying, that probably wakes your ass up. I think everybody just tells everybody they die in their sleep. Like, oh, you just lay down and go to sleep and never wake up. Oh, that's kind of like going to heaven. 
No, you probably have a stroke in the middle of the night or a heart attack and you just happen to be in bed and couldn't get your ass up. But okay, so everybody dies in their sleep. But yeah, that's what I'm afraid of is just the pain. Other than that, I don't really believe any consciousness was going to live past me. So if there is some sort of energetic force, if you want to call it a soul or a chi, I highly doubt it has any conscious um, <clears throat> residual left over from your ego. So, you know, recycle us, slow cycle. It's a Buddhist thing, aka Satanist thing. Just go back into the one. That's it. That's it. There's no reason for it. No rhyme. You're not going anywhere. You're just going out. On that note, I'm going to shut the fuck up and go to bed. As you can see, I've started doing my laundry. And then I got drunk and forgot. So I should probably go get this out of the clothes dryer.